In this video, we're going to go through some of the main file types that you'll commonly encounter in bioinformatics. Computational biologists often work with various different kinds of biological data, which, depending on the specific data type and the state of processing, is stored and organized into specialized file formats. Before we take a look at these different file formats, let's consider some of the different kinds of data that bioinformaticians routinely encounter. Probably the majority of data used in computational biology today comes under the heading of sequencing data. This can include sequences of DNA, RNA, or protein, obtained through various sequencing technologies. Most data used in biology involve some measurement of the genome, transcriptome, proteome, or epigenome. Genomic data encompasses information about the structure and or the function of the DNA sequence. That might include the DNA sequence itself, or annotations for genes, regulatory elements, or genetic variations or mutations, such as single nucleotide polymorphisms, insertions, deletions, or other structural variations. Transcriptomic data consists of information about gene or transcript expression levels, or expression of non-coding RNAs, such as long non-coding RNAs, or microRNAs. These data can be generated using sequencing techniques such as RNA-seq or older methods such as microRNA technologies. Proteomic data might include data regarding the sequence, structure or expression levels of proteins, which can be obtained using techniques such as mass spectrometry. And then we have epigenomic data, which can include information about DNA methylation or histone modifications or chromatin accessibility. Bioinformaticians involved in health science also often work with clinical data. This might include information about survival, treatment response, and other patient characteristics. Many of these data were traditionally measured on what we call bulk samples, meaning that data were obtained from a population of cells, such that the measurements represent the average of all the cells in a sample. More recently, however, single cell analyses have come into wider use. Single cell data is obtained at the level of individual cells, which allows for the characterization of cellular heterogeneity and variability within samples. So let's take a look at some of the data types associated with these different biological layers. First, let's take FASTA files. FASTA files are used to represent nucleotide or protein sequences. They typically consist of one or more sequence entries, each entry starting with a header line, which begins with an open angle bracket, followed by a unique sequence identifier and an optional description. Below the header line, we find the sequence data, represented as a series of letters corresponding to the nucleotide or amino acid sequences. Then we have FASTQ files. These are typically used to store sequencing reads generated by high-throughput sequencing technologies, for example, transcriptomic data in its raw form. Unlike FASTA files, which only contain information about the DNA or protein sequence, FASTQ files contain certain additional characteristics. Namely, FASTQ files store both nucleotide sequences and their corresponding quality scores. Each record in a FASTQ file is comprised of four lines. Let's take a closer look at those. The first line is the sequence identifier, which typically starts with an at symbol. The sequence identifier provides information about the read. The second line is the nucleotide sequence of the read be that a DNA sequence represented by A, C, T, G, or an RNA sequence represented by A, U, C, G. The third line is a separator, typically a plus symbol, which indicates the start of the quality score section. And the fourth line contains the quality scores corresponding to the nucleotide sequence. Quality scores are represented using what we call FRED scores, which are coded as ASI characters where higher values correspond to higher quality, so higher confidence in the base calling. These quality scores represent the confidence or reliability of each base call in the nucleotide sequence and are used to filter reads for downstream analyses. For example, here the presence of a colon corresponding to the thymine residue indicates a quality score of 25. FASTQ files are not readily interpretable on their own. 
Typically, any analysis involving FASTQ files will involve an alignment of the DNA or RNA reads to some kind of reference genome before we can perform any downstream analyses. This alignment step generates another commonly found file type in a bioinformatics analysis called the BAM file. BAM stands for Binary Alignment Map. It's a binary format, which means it's not human readable. This allows for efficient compression and storage of large amounts of sequence alignment data. BAM files store information about the alignment of sequencing reads to a reference genome, such as the human genome, HG19. This includes details such as the read sequence, the alignment position, and the mapping quality of the read. BAM files are often accompanied by index files with the suffix .bai. Similar to BAM files, SAM files also serve to store sequence alignment data, but unlike BAM files, they're not binary but are text-based, so we can think of SAM files as a human-readable form of a BAM file. VCF files, standing for Variant Call Format Files, are the standard file format for storing information about genetic variants or mutations that are detected through DNA sequencing experiments. Such variants might include single nucleotide variants or larger variants such as insertions, deletions or structural alterations. VCF files are text files in the tab-separated format and each column contains a predefined field including the chromosome position of the variant, the reference allele, the alternative allele, quality score status and additional information. The REF allele represents the reference allele found in the genome the reference genome, while the ALT allele represents the alternative allele that was observed in the experiment. The filter field in a VCF file indicates whether a variant passes certain quality filtering criteria. BCF files are binarized forms of VCF files that can be used to hold information more efficiently. The GFF general feature format and GTF general transfer format are both tab-delimited text files that are used to represent genomic annotations such as coordinates for genes, transcripts and other genomic features. Here's an example of a GFF file. Each line in a GFF file represents a feature or annotation on a genomic sequence. The fields typically include data such as the sequence identifier, feature type, for example gene or exon, start and end coordinates, strand and other information. GTF files are specialized forms of GFF files that are specifically designed for gene annotation. BED files are simple tab delimited text files that are used to represent genomic intervals or regions of interest. They can be used to store various kinds of genomic annotations such as gene coordinates, transcription factor binding sites, regions of chromatin accessibility, genomic variants, or pretty much anything else you might be interested in. Each row in a BED file represents a genomic interval and comprises at least three compulsory fields, the chromosome, the start position, and the end position, and any additional information, which is optional. So there you have it. Those were just some of the most common file formats underlying bioinformatics analyses today. In later videos, we'll look a little deeper into how these different data types are actually analyzed to better understand complex biological systems.